Now, another installment of You Make the Call. What is the correct serving temperature for toilet water? You Make the Call. I like Rugrats. Because, because there's no TV show out there that are babies. It's just Rugrats. Yeah, and, and I like it too. Yeah, but because... Little kids. Uh, yeah. little kids could do a lot. That proves to yeah. other people. The kids always want to help. That's one thing. Yeah, they always uh, want to help. And they got the biggest imagination, yeah. but, but Tommy's too gullible. Right? I don't know. He's uh, not too gullible. Yes, yeah, because he's always he's believing what uh, what Angelica says. He's always believing. Well, all yeah, of the babies actually always, always believe. Oh, yeah, that's another she thing. Always get, she always gets bossy. She, right? isn't, she doesn't have to be mean. I know, she doesn't have to, but, I know, but that's her role she in the cartoon. She wants. She is well, nice. There's no role model she, for she's her. She's not always uh, mean. Well, yeah, she's nice sometimes. There's no role model for her. Um, I mean, nobody's as mean as her. Sometimes uh, she's not. I know somebody who's mean. In the never-ending pursuit of greater cartoonosity, Cartoon Network Laboratories has created the ultimate formula. A combination of our biggest cartoons, all squeezed into one monster night. Big Wednesday. All our newest stuff, all our biggest stars. It's more fun than a barrel of monkeys and a lot less smelly. It's big, very big, maybe even extra large. Uh, let's just say you can't miss it. Wednesdays at 8, only on Cartoon Network. Dalek, why is there a hat rack on Cartoon Network's logo? That's not hat rack, you nincompoop. It's Moose's antlers. Oh, no, Dolly. Say it's not true. I'm afraid it is. The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show, tonight at 11 on Cartoon Network. Sure is not hat rack. What is the correct serving temperature for toilet water? Blue. Episode 2, 1994. Pre-game talk stokes egos. Big Dog pledges to eat their lunch and executes. He's Tex Avery. Tex Avery! Every Sunday evening, see three cartoons from the master of the double take. It's the Tex Avery Show. Tonight at 10 at the Tex Avery Network, Cartoon Network. Kraft Macaroni and Cheese presents Animaniacs. It's cheesy, gecko, wacko, wony. The pinky and brain only. I steal from down baloney. Did someone say baloney? It's got cheesy macaroni. It's Kraft Animaniacs Macaroni and Cheese. It's as cheesy as we are. Beautiful! It's something new to Loney. It's a cheesy pandemony. I'll be even more well known. Cause it's Kraft Animaniacs Macaroni. With all the O's and delicious SpaghettiOs pasta, your mouth leads the mambo. Oh, 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 oh SpaghettiOs. And your whole world is out of control. All those tasty O's means a mouthful of fun. Oh, 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 SpaghettiOs! Spaghetti celebrates Toy Story Activity Center CD-ROM with magic scenes that appear when you go outside. You can collect all six under specially marked labels. This is war. And the enemy? Those new M&M's minis? Bingo. It's time to let them know who's boss. The president? No, us. Oh. Now go up there and get that tube. Yup. Hey, look. Listen up, you little... Uh -oh. New M&M's minis. They're heading your way. No, how are you at apologies? We are so sorry. <laughs> hmm? Now you can get a cool M&M's toy with every Burger King Kids Club meal. <laughs> Look at this mess. Are these the Apple Jacks they always eat? Howard, don't go there. You know it doesn't make any sense to me. They don't taste like Apple. Exactly. If they call it Apple Jacks, it should taste like Apple. <laughs> You're good, though. I just don't get it. <laughs> Neither do I, dear. Neither do I. Kellogg's Apple Jack cereal is part of this complete breakfast. We eat what we like. <laughs> Tastes great. Tastes great. Tastes great. This kind of stupid demands the ultimate coaching. <laughs> He's good. This is where we take the time to answer letters and email from you, our beloved viewers. Welcome to Cartoon Network Response. Here's a letter from Ronald. Dear sir. This program that you call Two Stupid Dogs is one of the most vile programs for children on the air. 
Today, the small dog was swimming in a pool of spit from the big dog. This show is a flagrant disregard for decency just to get a laugh. Let's clean things up or get off the air. Ronald, in answer to your question, that wasn't just any old spit. No siree. Cartoon Network searches far and wide for the finest salivas available. Every day at dawn, saliva is lovingly collected from the mouths of hundreds of baby howler monkeys. This precious cargo is then flown via C-130s to Cartoon Network headquarters, where it is carefully parceled out to each and every episode of Two Stupid Dogs. So, Ronald, remember, we worked this hard to get spit so you don't have to. Stay tuned for more of your letters right here on Cartoon Network Responds. Until next time, pen pals. Hey, Bullwinkle, you ready? Why, Rocky? Because it's our big show on Cartoon Network. Of course, we must stop them. Don't worry, darling. I've got little surprise for Moose and Squirrel. Our very own show on Cartoon Network. It'll be a blast. Oh, it'll be blessed, all right. <laughs> What was that? Must be fireworks for our big show. Oh, boy. I don't feel so good. The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show, tonight at 11 o'clock on Cartoon Network. Man, I hate cats. You and me both, brother. Tom and Jerry, tonight on Cartoon Network. Just when you think things can't get any stupider, the Stupid Bowl continues on Cartoon Network. Sit, Toro, sit. Good boy.